months. In 2021, President Biden signed into law Juneteenth as a new federal holiday. It was the first federal holiday to be established since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day four decades ago. Mr. Biden says Juneteenth is an acknowledgement of the truth of our nation's history. It is about realizing the idea that America was founded on. All people are created equal and deserve to be treated equally throughout their lives. Joining us now to talk more about the significance of Juneteenth and how we as Catholics should commemorate this day is Deacon Harold Burke Sivers, host of Beacon of Truth on EWTN Radio. Deacon Harold, great to be with you again. Um, Juneteenth became a federal holiday in 2021, but I don't think a lot of people really knew the significance of this day up until that point, except maybe those from Texas. Give us a brief history and also, you know, why it's important for us as Catholics to remember this day. Sure. Uh, well, Juneteenth is about when the last group of uh, slaves uh, uh, discovered the Emancipation Proclamation that actually freed them from slavery. And so the Emancipation Proclamation was issued before uh, June 19th, but June 19th was the day uh, that uh, that uh, the, all the slaves were freed. And this is important for us as Catholics to remember because of the injustices that were done uh, by Catholics who were slave owners and the church that didn't, uh, and in many ways they, they spoke up and supported, uh, you know, anti-slave, but there were also Catholics who supported slavery as well. So it's important for us to remember uh, what happened in the past. We don't repeat those same mistakes in the future. Yeah, absolutely. And there are all some, you know, prominent black Catholic figures that we should remember from that time period, uh, including Venerable Augustus Tolton. Um, tell us more about him for those who may not be familiar with him. Yeah, so Augustus Tolton was born a slave in 1854 and uh, in Brush Creek, Missouri. Um, uh, he was at his uh, mother was actually a wedding gift from uh, uh, from the slave owner to uh, to his uh, wh where he met his uh, where she met his, her husband, who became uh, Father Augustus Tolton's father. And so he became of uh, ultimately became the first black priest in the United States, but had to overcome tremendous racism both within and outside of the church in order to accomplish that. And he died in 1897, and he's uh, on his way to sainthood now. Everything's been approved by the Vatican, just needs a, a miracle uh, to become blessed and another miracle to become a saint. Yeah, and we pray that that happens indeed. Are there any other notable black figures that we should remember on this day? Yeah, uh, uh, Venerable Pierre Toussaint, for sure. Uh, Venerable Henriette de Lille. Uh, uh, servants of God, uh, Mary Lang, uh, Julia Greeley, and Thea Bowman, um, who I think who reflected the power of God's love working um, in the midst of tremendous adversity in order to really bring the beauty and truth of the Catholic faith uh, to the entire church, it's particularly in the United States. And Deacon Harold, how do you think we as Catholics should commemorate this day? I know a lot of uh, parishes are having uh, masses celebrated today for it. Yeah, one of the things that we can do, and I argue about this in, in my book, Building a Civilization of Love, a Catholic response to race, is that we Catholics can actually take the lead in moving uh, our nation and our world forward in issues of, of racial justice and equality. Uh, because the, the very basic tenets of our faith teach us that we have to see the image and likeness of God in the person standing in front of us. So the more that we can reflect that as Catholics and to live that reality uh, in the world, uh, the closer we'll come to break down the walls of division and really uh, live out the words of Jesus that they may be one. Father, as you are one and I are one. Deacon Harold, before I let you go, any final thoughts on this day? Yeah, I just want everybody to, uh, to to really think that this is not hopeless. We live in a world that's confused and broken and hopeless. But I'm telling you, I know with all my heart and soul that if we Catholics put our best effort forward this issue of race, that we can overcome as Martin Luther King uh, so beautifully taught. Wonderful. Deacon Harold, thank you so much for your insights as always. God bless you. Thank you for having me.